What's up YouTube, welcome to part 2 of this overview of the uh, P6T Deluxe version 1 motherboard. Uh, I've been doing a bit of playing around with it. Um, figured out where this fan goes. It goes on there like that. Do a close up of that. So, um, yeah, so figuring that one out. Uh, the screw pillars, which are still in the box. Uh, yes, that is my bed. Um, these, they, one goes there. And the other one goes down there, or there, or there, depending on what you like, where you want to put them, and very specifically, and that's to put a 40mm fan on there to have cool, cool it. Um, I can't do anything with the OC palm at the moment. Because I haven't got a CPU to test this board with, but going from the box, it has Turbo V OC tool, hardware monitor, and Yahoo widgets. So, um, I'm just going to do a bit more in depth because I was running out of space on the other one on this board so um, I was running out of both time and space on that one um, so I'm just going to go over the main features of the board you have one two three four four three pin headers if you have this on one will be used by that. I doubt I will use that though, no, to be honest. Um, so, yep. Uh, what else have we got here? Do 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 uh, I think that's pretty much the only thing I've ever covered. Um, you've, you've got the heat pipes on there. Nice, a nice thick heat pipe that goes from the south bridge up through the north bridge through the, and through all the MOSFETs although I think that is actually might be a different heat pipe actually I think it looks, it looks a bit a little bit smaller um, I'll talk a bit more about the express gate uh, I actually found out what it does is it's it's like a little mini SSD that allows you to boot up in boot up into uh, boot boot up in five seconds and go online onto like your web browser or Skype. Um, I'm not going to lie to you now. I was reading that bit of the box. Uh, The, there you go. Uh, Express gate SSD. Five seconds from boot up to online. The actual boot type is subject to hardware configurations and product models. And then it's just got all the same in uh, different languages. So this is now you can go on the internet, email, sharing, chat, photo, e music with only five seconds boot up time. Quickly access the internet for instant fun. Woo! Instant fun, just what we like. Um, so yeah, one thing I did notice actually before coming back was that chip there 
is the Turbo V chip. So that's going to be the chip for for this. So that will be linked up somehow to the USB port. So you connect that, and that's how it. That's how this OCs the well the processor and RAM. I don't know if it does the graphics card. Um. So yeah, that's just to quickly finish some stuff I missed. Don't think there is anything else. Um. Oh yeah. But let's need to turn the board around. Wait a minute. Ah uh, no. Okay, sorry, my bad. They look like voltage read points, but they're not. Uh, they're just little mini chips. I don't think there is any voltage read points actually on this. No, there isn't. Ah. Uh. Okay, sorry about that. Um. So yeah, you've got your eight pin there. Can't remember if that's what I was talking about. CPU fan here. So you're going to have to bear with me, got a bit of a distraction there. Uh, this is your 1366 socket. There is 1,366 pins. There you go, you've got a warning there saying according to Intel CPU spec, dims with voltage settings over 1.65 may damage the CPU permanently. We recommend, yeah, basically just saying don't use over 1.65 volts. But some of the um, some overclockers have been able to, um, you can get a run above 1.65 volts safely. If, if you know what you're doing so yeah that pretty much sums it up um, so uh, thank you for watching part 2 and remember subscribe and goodbye